Craigie Burns should clear here. Kick on the wing. Grabbed by Bongetti, the recruit from Old Kerry, who's been fantastic today. He gets the ball moving forward to Josh Young. Oh, the candy man. He sold some candy. Oh. Had a shot from 50. Oh, sportsman's goal of the day right there. That was fantastic. Well. Josh Young just adding to what has been a great day for the Craigie Burn Eagles. Hello and welcome to a brand new edition of EDFL Web TV. My name is Adam at Sari Coglu. A big round four in the EDFL, of course. Our EDFL match of the day was in Essendon Ford Division 1. Craigie Byrne taking on Tullamarine. A big win for the Eagles. Highlights of that are coming up later in the show. Senior Interleague not too far away now. It's the EDFL taking on the Goldburn Valley Football League right here at the iconic Windy Hill. That's on May 21st. The 18s will kick off at 11.30 and then the seniors will follow at 2.30. Our squad was announced last week. Head to our website, snndfl.com.au to have a look at that 45-man squad. The Goldburn Valley have put theirs out as well. Preparations are getting underway now. Of course, Mick McGuan is leading the way again this year and he's leading a very good coaching panel as well. Adam Potter, Shannon Grant, Dean Wallace, all part of the setup, as well as Jeff Geishan. All the boys did get together for the first time here at Windsor Hill earlier in the week. I caught up with some of the key people involved in this year's interleague campaign. Here with now Greenvale star Fort Caruso Fort, mate. Welcome to EDFL Web TV. Uh, we're here at Windsor Hill, our first uh, meeting for the 2016 interleague campaign. You, you're honoured honored to be a part of it again as part of the squad so far. Yep, no, great, great to be here. Um, Great honour, been part of it the last couple of years and um, it's a great, great concept that um, to be a part of and great to play with a great bunch of blokes and good, great players obviously and, and represent the, the league um, with honour. So. Yeah, yeah. You, got to do it, you got to do it last year for the uh, Southern Football League, what was that experience like for you? Yeah, no, it was a great experience, it was, it was a good campaign, we you know, trained for a number of weeks leading up and got to know a lot of the boys um, very well um, and it was a a great campaign. We sort of played well and um, beat Southern pretty easily in the end, but it was um, because of our um, camaraderie and, and work that we put in previously, so it was good. And how are you going so far? Obviously, new club this year. You, you and Nat did some great things at the Northern Saints, but uh, now, now you're a Greenvale player and you've been in some pretty good form, as has the footy club so far. It seems like everything's going well up at Section Road so far. Yeah, we moved across um, this year, so it's been a easily easy transition, which is been really nice and um, great bunch of blokes um, that have welcomed me in, me, me and Nat. So um, it's been good, good start to the year for the boys, but we've got a test this week so against Kilo and yep. um, we look forward to that. So, For Caruso, thanks for joining us on EDFL Web TV. No problem. Joined on EDFL Web TV by a pretty important man in the whole EDFL interleague campaign, Jeff Geishan. You were a part of it last year. We're very honoured to have you back this year as part of the uh, the coaching setup. Tell us a bit about what it is this year. There's obviously a lot of our senior Premier Division coaches that are uh, taking part in this year's campaign. Yeah, well, to be honest, Adam, I'm very honoured to be part of it. Uh, I was a part of it last year, which was a wonderful experience. The league was very professional, both on and off the field, and uh, we got a terrific result. Um, this year, um, same thing. We're looking for the same effort, the same professionalism, the same intensity from the group. Um, we've put together what we think is a fantastic coaching group around Mick McGuan, who coached last year, obviously. But this year, Adam Potter's been added, Shannon Grant's been added, Dean Wallace has been added. And as everybody knows, they've been fantastic experience. But not only that, what I've been most impressed about is bring great professionalism and great desire to do well in this competition. We're still early in the campaign, of course. It is a couple of weeks away to game itself, but there will be a few training runs coming up right here at Windsor Hill, which is, of course, where the game is as well. That must just uh, be another little incentive as well for the boys to, to run out at the home of EDFL footy right here. It's an iconic place, as you know. Uh, this whole campaign against the Goldburn Valley, it's going to be a pretty important one in terms of uh, league pride. Absolutely, and uh, tonight, uh, we were going to have a training run on the ground tonight, but we felt it was probably more important that we got the group together, set the tone for what we expect, um, set our standards, set our uh, sets of behaviours that we expect from the boys and made sure they knew what was coming in the next couple of weeks. So we didn't actually train on the ground, but yes, we do feel privileged to be able to train at Windy Hill and play at Windy Hill where you know, a lot of these boys probably grew up idolising the ground. Certainly. Uh, May 21, right here at Windsor Hill against the Goldburn Valley. Jeff, it's good to have you back as part of the campaign. Can't wait for the battle against the Goldburn Valley in a couple of weeks from now. 
Thanks, Adam. And we're looking forward to uh, getting a really good squad together and hopefully getting a lot of uh, Essendon District Football League supporters down here to watch the boys play. A big thank you to Fort Caruso and Jeff Geishan for joining us on EDFL Web TV. Don't forget, May 21st, right here at Windsor Hill. The under-18s will kick it off at 11.30, EDFL versus the Goulburn Valley Football League, and then the seniors will follow up from 2.30. On to this week's highlights, and it was, well, we thought it was going to be EDFL match of the day up at DS Aiken Reserve. Craigie Byrne and Taylor Marine, they were both on top of the ladder. Perhaps a grand final preview this could have been, but in the end, as you're about to see, it was all Craigie Byrne. They're certainly setting the standard early this season in Essendon for Division 1. Josh Young. Young goes short to the middle of the ground as well. They might have a little opening here. And over the top, Heenan handballs it across to find Kite. Came across from Duda Stars. The end of last season, it kicks a nice goal. Should be able to get there first. Ends up with Peroni. He handballs back to find Heenan. Heenan kicks towards the centre again. He's found a man all on his own. Nice pass as well. Quick handball across in the end. Bongetti. Bongetti runs inside 50. And that was the best link up play we've seen so far today. To find Burns. Burns kicks it long, looking for Laurie. In, who's end up free kick has been paid towards Tuller and advantage is being paid ends up with an easy goal there to Flanagan had a few breaks in play a couple of technical issues so far today Peps but we'll soldier on through as Cloak takes a huge grab obviously we all know of his exploits at the highest level he comes in now starts it right oh, he's used the breeze well there he's used it beautifully swings back nicely against Hadfield. So Page, who played in that contest, wins a big tap forward as well. Jeez, he's been good in the centre. Peroni snaps the ball forward. Cloak's caught behind on this occasion, but at ground level, should be able to mop up and kick a goal. At 50 metres out from the Eagles goal, they lead this one by 31 points. Just about to tick into time on and great effort there coming through. Brent Gordon just read the play beautifully from that ruck contest and kicked his first. Great kick, kick long now. Oh, and that's gone to Heenan. They should be on here, Craigie Byrne. And that's great play. Ryan Bungetti runs to 50. Kick is long. It's strong. Oh, it's hit the post. And they got the switch on here too. That's right. Yeah. The switch is on. And Finch. Oh, that was a danger. Well oh. done, Colin Lowe. That's a great mark. Did a good job there by Brockway to get the spoil. And Tullamarine should clear it now. Burns able to get a handle on it. His handball is backwards. They're under intense pressure here. The Tullamarine Demons, and it's going the way of Craigie Burn. Now Heenan's kick, well, Cloak wasn't able to get there. Sam Laffin trying to take the mark there, but the handball is to is to Davies, and he should be able to put this through, Bang. and he does. That's a steadying goal for Craigie Burn. There have been a lot of stoppages and a lot of goals, though, so we're not suggesting anything that they've done wrong. The timekeepers as Cam Cloak goes bang. Doyle gets a hand pass across and a big kick forward. They're looking for Laurie yet again. Ends up getting spoiled away from him. But Jordan Port has the footy at the moment. Ludes a couple of tackles. Quick handball across to Devine, who kicks it straight over the goal umpire's hat. Nice reply there from Tuller. That one. Thanks very much, Damo. As the Eagles are streaming forward yet again. Ends up the hands of Heenan. He's looking for Cloak, who fends off his defender with one arm. Didn't think you'd have the Mighty Ducks reference, but you're all over it, mate. Oh, we're there. <laughs> Here comes Cloak, line out for goal. Number four makes no mistake. Biggest margin of the match now, guys. 46 points. They are 11 to 78 to 8 6 54. Thanks a lot, Damo. Ball up in the centre. It was one down by Flanagan. Kite came charging through off the line for Craigie Byrne. Kicked it forward. And Nathan Perron has taken the mark just inside 50. The Eagles. Uh -huh. Definitely, uh, yeah, the, with the four on the bench, they've got that little bit of an advantage. So in he comes, and Piranha's kick is good. We'll have a ball up good on to the see top Cloak. of the square. Sorry, sorry, Peps. You're good to see uh, Cloak uh, getting Brockway back up to his feet there. It's been a good <laughs> battle all day. As Page wins the tap yet again. He's had so many hit outs so far today, and a lot of them going to advantage as well, and they will clear again thanks to his work. Very Goldstein-esque as Pep said in that first term, and they're streaming forward now. Josh Young has an open mm. shot at goal from 45. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? That was just, just too easy. So That's easy. actually the easiest goal we've mm. seen so far today. In the hands of Georgievsky, who boots it forward. Cloak comes up to meet it. Beautiful tap coming down towards Laffin, 
Laffin lines them up. That's right, Damo. Cloak took the free kick and kicked it to Cameron Cloak. So Cameron Cloak, methodical run up as we tick over 31 minutes gone in this final quarter. He puts it through, makes no mistake. That's six goals for number six. Craigie Burns should clear here. Kick on the wing. Grabbed by Bongetti, the recruit from Old Kerry, who's been fantastic today. Here gets the ball moving forward to Josh Young. Oh, the candy man. He sold some candy. Had a shot from 50. Oh, sportsman's goal of the day right there. Well, there you go. We thought it was going to be EDFL match of the day, but in the end, Craigie Byrne way too good for Tyler Marine. It has to be said the Demons were fairly under man. They've got some injury concerns at the moment, but Craigie Byrne were also missing Glenn Robertson. So... I guess the early running's been set by Craigie Byrne. We'll see if anyone in Essendon Ford Division 1 can catch Peter Bugden's men as the season goes on. This Saturday's EDFL match of the day. Well, really, we could have gone anywhere for this one. There are so many even matchups on paper in Strathmore Community Bank Premier Division. Even in Strathmore Community Bank Division 2, we could easily have taken the Van der Mooney Valley for their clash with East Keelor, but we couldn't help ourselves. We had to go to Section Road. It's Greenvale taking on Keelor, both undefeated in Premier Division so far this season. And it's Mick McGuan up against Shannon Grant as well. This is going to be a huge clash, probably the biggest game we've had in the EDFL so far this season. You can listen to it live on 98.9 Northwest FM and EDFL team app. EDFL tonight is going very strong so far this season. Usually it's myself and Jambo behind the mic, but this week Adrian Jamison finally gets to host the show and he is alongside Travis Posnahoski. So you can listen back to this week's episode on the EDFL SoundCloud channel to listen to what Jambo and Poz have to say about all the issues going on around the EDFL. Get the record this weekend, the squads for the EDFL and the Goulburn Valley Football League. And a big article as well on Jeff Geeshan is in this week's record. And don't forget about EDFL team map. That's how you can get all the live scores across the entire EDFL. Enjoy your round five footy this weekend.